Hello guys and welcome again. You have some ideas or some designs and you want to bring them to life. Have you ever thought uh, it's too easy to bring your ideas to life? You may have heard about 3D printing and you may want to buy a 3D printer or you already have one. Today I will talk about uh, what do you need to start with the 3D printing. First of all, you will need a 3D design software like uh, Fusion 360, SolidWorks, CATIA or any other software. If you are not an expert uh, in 3D design, you can download the uh, ready STL files from this website uh, called Think uh, Iverse. It's uh, common for all makers. Second, you will need uh, a slicer software. The most common one is Cura uh, on, and Prusa slicer. They are uh, totally free. There's another one you have to buy it called the uh, Simplify 3D. And of course, you need a 3D printer. There is too many kinds uh, of 3D printers, but the one I will use today is uh, th Ender 3 Pro from Creality. So let's start printing uh, our first model, uh, Pikachu. It reminds me with my childhood. Before I start, I will open the Cura. It takes uh, a little bit uh, time to open, as you see. Now, as it uh, open, I need uh, to add the printer first. I search for the printer. I choose the uh, reality first. Then Ender 3 Pro, as you see in picture. Here is uh, the parameter uh, for the uh, Creality Ender 3 Pro, as you see. And in the downside, uh, you can see the G code uh, for start and uh, for the end of printer. And here is uh, the extruder. So I will change uh, the name uh, of the uh, printer. I have already installed uh, the printer, but now I'm uh, installing it again. It's uh, for education purpose. Now you can see I choose uh, the printer from this button. And here you can see uh, which material I use uh, for printing. The common one is a PLA. And the nozzle diameter is uh, 0 0.4 millimeter. Now I'll uh, start. So you see, uh, I have pulled up uh, this file, Pikachu file, as you see here. 
I want uh, to scale it. So you can see in Cura, I can uh, make uh, this uh, this figure or this uh, 3D model uh, bigger or smaller. So you see here, uh, when you see this gr uh, gray color, and the, mm, it's uh, not fitting uh, in the printer, because it uh, takes uh, 220 and 220 uh, and uh, 250. You see here, I make it uh, smaller, about uh, the half uh, of the uh, masses. I take uh, 50 percent. I made it here, uh, multiply it with this button. I can multiply uh, as much as I want. Now I'm going uh, to slice uh, this this 3D model and here you see uh, I have already uh, used uh, the parameter. I will talk about it uh, in another video. So you can see uh, it takes uh, about uh, 50 minutes. And uh, what uh, what the thing uh, I like it in Cura, it shows me uh, the layers. So here I can save it uh, either uh, to file on desktop. Then uh, I'll uh, I take it uh, on uh, a micro SD card to the printer. Or I can uh, save it directly uh, to the micro SD card. So here's my 3D printer, Ender 3 Pro. I put my SD card uh, in the printer. I turn it on. And then uh, I'll look uh, at the screen or the display. You will see the temperature. And I use prepare and then preheated PLA, preheat PLA. Then uh, I wait until uh, it will be preheated. The hotbed uh, preheated the uh, forty-five degrees, and the nozzle is preheated uh, for uh, hundred eighty-five degrees.